Morning ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different thing. This has been done a million times on Facebook, YouTube, all that stuff, you know, installations of this wonderful hunk of aluminum machined. Um, yeah, we're going to do it on our tow pig today. So bear with as this will be the one millionth and one time this has been posted on YouTube. Just doing it for reference. All right. Tag along. Appreciate it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to be following instructions somewhat. So they say to use silicone lubricant. They say AMSOIL, but this is what I have. They say to lube up the gasket. So we'll do that just to aid in install. All right. Sprayed it in my hand there. I'll lay that there. Boom, boom, boom. And I've found that, oh, this goes nice, all right. So don't stretch the O-ring because it'll, you know, obviously come out. And it'll get longer if you stretch it. So just push it straight down, let it flow just like you would. And of course, just get it in there. All right. Sometimes you have to play with it. Get it to sit in there. We'll see if we can take up any slack here. I really hope they brought this the right one. All right. So I'm just taking this out, trying to squeeze, shorten. Shorten, shorten. So in essence, kind of pushing back against how it sits. We'll see if that works. All right, come on now. These things. See, I have that much left over. Come on now. Come on. All right. Yep. She doesn't want to cooperate today. So just work it, work it, work it. Oh, yeah. oh, she doesn't want to cooperate, does she? No, no, no. All right. So I kind of got it in there. Alrighty. Whoa. Look at that. Holy crap. So, that does it. I'll let that uh, sit in there. This is a little bit sunny, so it's not that big of a deal there. So let's wipe up a little bit so make sure there's no particles on there. We're out in the clean air. There's no dust around, so not worried about that. Cleaned all this stuff out. So yeah, let that sit and normalize. All right, so what they say to do on this is loosen these guys, uh, loosen this clip. I think I'm gonna loosen this one over here. I don't know if you guys can see it. A little plastic one. Just go in there, open it up like such. Unpop that. This guy on the uh, differential housing. Oh, here we go. They say, just uh, be careful. Take your time. All right. Get that sucker there. All right. They call that a P clip. Ow. That's going to leave a mark. Uh, spare tire dongle. All right, so let's undo some of these guys. All right, let's not F around too much. Oh, Jesus.
Yep. All right. Move that sucker out of the way. All right. So that is above there. Cool. Starting to do the drippy thing. All right, let's look at that flow of oil. That's looking good and clean there. Drain a little bit more. Alrighty. Set that to the side. Alright. Of course, the one thing I forgot to bring is a rag. Yeah. Alrighty, All right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. So most of this fluid has drained. What I like to use is one of these scrapers. They say it's all got to be super clean for them to uh, do their thing. So I'm going to give it a preliminary scrape. Alrighty. So, all right, so uh, what I'm going to do is I see little uh, schmoo spots here inside the holes. I'm going to clean that out so it doesn't like get in between the gasket. Over here, I don't know if it's super obvious, but there's a scratch that I didn't put in. This is the first time the first time I changed the diff oil, so I was like, might as well do it with the banks. But yeah, there's a couple of little divots and scratches here, like right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Well, let me clean that off so you guys can see any more. But there's a couple little edges here that you guys can probably see. But yeah, let's uh, grab some w more wire brush here and go from there. All right, so I'm using these guys, little uh, wire brush wheels. I thought against using the drill, so I'm just going to do this by hand. Let's see if I can time lapse in front of it a little bit. Alright. Actually, are those countersunk? Oh. Alright, let's see here. Oh yeah. That works. Sweet. Alright, so this is a countersink bit for any drill. It's the same stuff there. So these are available at any hardware store, so I found out that it works. Just do it by hand. Okie dokie. Alright, so I'm going to protect this again. Come on now. Alright, now very carefully 
I'm going to spray out these holes. A little brake cleaner. All right. So there's that. The reason I'm going through all this is because hopefully until this rear end needs a rebuild, it won't come off this cover. Yeah, so I'm hoping that's the case. All right, another important note. Let me take this guy out now. Another important note is that uh, the O-ring, clean this off, the O-ring on the cover actually goes over the top of these and in the center, over the top and in the center. So this clear, uh, clean metal surface is really what you want to have clean. So, you know, more, 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 more clean, clean. Can't ever be stressed enough. Also, these towels, they like to leave little bits and pieces, so just uh, make sure there is nothing left in there. Okay, I need one more. I'm going to soak that bad boy up. Oh, excuse me. All right, I'm going to leave that in there until I get uh, prepped for the uh, diff cover install. Let's get this guy out of here. We can do that. So as you guys can see here, I cleaned out the chamfer, the countersink, for each one of those holes. A little bit of schmoo right there. But yeah, you can see it turned out real nice with that countersinking bit. So real nice and clean. I'll get that guy out of there, don't worry. So let's see here, get the front screen on so I can see what you guys see. Cool. All right, so I got the bolts prepped. Um, they came with blue Loctite in a little package. I like to use this stuff, rather. This is uh, paste form, a lot less mess, easier to apply, more consistent. Um, so yeah, just gonna get these bolts over here, cleaned up a bit, torque wrench out, and go for it. All righty, here is the moment of truth, and See if I can do this single-handedly. All right. Make sure the gasket is properly lined up. Come on, you. Here we go. All right. I'm going to peek here. Yeah, looks like everything is 100%. Let's get another one in here. Let's leave that like that. All right, so now I'm going to start doing these guys. A little dab of D. -ya. I can't do that one yet. And do this one. Oh, of course. Oh my goodness. getting sore.
All right, important note here is brake line stuff. All right, so these guys come back down. These guys get situated over there. This needs to go underneath there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this little P clamp or whatever Banks calls it, this is a plastic fantastic unit. They supply a metal unit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that there, squeeze that around and put it right there. All right. So let me get you on this side so you guys can see. All right, let's do a hand sequence tightening here first. Alrighty, now time to torque. Time to torque. All right, so as you guys see, that is the Banks cover installed. The fill plug is loose for obvious reasons. But yeah, simple, easy-ish. Arms getting sore just holding it up. But yeah, um, so far so good. All right, let's fill her up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a Hawaiian emergency here. God, my Hawaiian steel toe broke. What am I gonna do? Oh no, all right, well, catch you later. All right, problem solved. Old slippers, these were good. Had a beer bottle opener in the bottom. You served me well. New ones, sweet. Now let's fill up that rear end. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a very jank way of doing this. I don't recommend this, but this is all I have right now. The secret sauce we're going to be using is Amsoil Severe Gear 75140. All right, I'm going to switch to all Amsoil stuff, so bear with while this is uh, happening. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, what we have installed here is a Banks fluid cover. So I filled it up to about, I don't know if you guys can see that, about like yay above the center dot. I think that should be all right. I think that's more than factory. And the second time I knocked my head, but the thing is, it's a really nice interface between the uh, axle housing and the Banks cover. Super, super nice, super slick. All right, keep hitting my head on that. But yeah, so really happy on how it turned out. Um, so it should be simple to maintain. Don't have to take the cover off unless I have a catastrophic failure. And, oh, you can't even see me, but um, we had fun putting it on. A couple little things, a little uh, caveat here. This spare tire mount has a really sharp uh, cable end cut and I cut myself a couple times so just put something over it watch yourself for this it will mess you up so hope you guys enjoyed let me get out from under here okay bye see ya um so yeah hope you guys enjoy the video super simple million of them out there I just figured I'd show it to you guys all right so thank you for watching the video all right see you on the next one